Hey guys, it's Claire from Clarified Creations, and if you couldn't guess from the title of this video, we are going to be talking all about Ignite Serves at the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. As you can see, I am wearing my Ignite shirt and my Ignite lanyard, and I'm going to be going over everything about Ignite Serves that you need to know as an upcoming freshman. If you've never seen my face before, I'm Claire, and I make videos all about UT lifestyle vlogs. I'm a rising sophomore at UTK, so I've been through the Ignite Service program. First of all, I'd like to say that Ignite is probably going to look a little bit different this year. Ignite Service is the only program that has not been canceled for the 2020 years. I know Ignite Knox, Summit, Leadership, they've all been canceled because of the coronavirus, but if you signed up for Service, you're in luck because they're having it August 10th through the 13th. It is about a three-day program and two nights right before college starts to kind of get your feet wet and before you experience college at full force. The first thing you're going to do is check in. And Ignite, they check in at 3.30. I'm going by last year's schedule, which was 2019. Like I said, this year might look a little bit different because of the whole coronavirus and, you know, and trying to keep everyone safe. They may have to adapt some things, but I wanted to give you guys the full rundown of the schedule I have right here. That way you can kind of get a sense of what you need to bring and all the details I'm going to be sharing with you. It's right in here. So the first thing you're gonna do is move into your dorms. Last year it was August 12th, so this year they're kind of bumping it up a little bit. So freshman, August 10th is the day that you will move in. One of the things about Ignite is it costs $200, but you get a t-shirt for free. I guess for free. You get all your meals covered and then you got a welcome pack, a water bottle, so you do get some pretty good perks. The number one perk of being in Ignite Serves is you get to move in early and avoid all the chaos of everyone moving in all at once. I moved in around 11, 11 or 12 o'clock so I only had a few hours before I had to leave for Ignite. So definitely know to bring all of your things before, get all unpacked at your dorm, get settled because you'll only have about half the day to get that done before you have to go to Ignite. The first thing we did was check in at the Student Union. The Student Union is a very big building in the middle of campus, so you really can't miss it. It's right past the library. If you just keep going, you'll run right into it. It says Student Union, so don't worry. And there'll be a ton of people there directing you on where to go. The next thing you'll do is pick up this, which is your name tag and your little lanyard. That's the first thing you're gonna wanna get so you know, you kinda know your group and your name. So what it'll say is Ignite, and it'll have your name on here, and then your team. So I was in team 19, and they do divide your teams up into numbers, and it's not alphabetical. It's kind of randomized of what you're going to get, so you probably won't be with your friends if you do have any other friends signed up. You have about a 1 in 20 chance, because I believe there's around 22 to 23 teams, and each team consists of around 20 people, which makes up about 200 or so Ignites. Once you're done checking in and everything, you get your free water bottle, and you also get a nice little orange pack that says ignite on it now you don't get the t-shirts until afterwards but I'm gonna show you the design at the very end of this video so stay tuned for that but anyways once you're done checking in it takes a little less than an hour and then you go into the big auditorium I think it's called the something Cox auditorium I'll leave it up here if I can find it but you'll go in there it's right in the student union and they'll give you a warm UT Vol welcome. You'll learn some chants and some cheers, and that is when you'll finally connect with your team members. You have two team members of each Ignite group, and you'll kind of get to meet your entire team. It's the first impression, so don't worry if you guys are a little bit shy. I know our team was completely silent throughout the first meeting process. We we're all awkward freshmen. We didn't know what to do. We had kind of just been thrown from our homes and immersed into college. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. So then after you have that warm welcome and everything, you're going to go out with your teams individually. So this is when you'll follow your team leader. They'll lead you to a specific building on campus and for us we went to the HSS building. Then we had our first team meeting which was basically an introduction. We all said our name and our major, kind of like orientation. I know orientation is going to be online this year which is pretty sad if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if they did this but you'll have introductions introductions and and everybody around the room will have a seat and you'll be in a classroom an actual classroom they'll say okay tell me your name and your major and maybe one fact about yourself 
So it's like, hi, I'm Claire, I'm majoring in nursing. Something like that, you don't have to get too fancy. It's not meant to put you on the spot or anything. It is simply meant to be a pure introduction, kind of get you comfortable with your whole group because after all, you will be spending a lot of time with them whether you like it or not. After all the introductions, they're gonna talk a little bit. They're gonna maybe play some games with you, icebreaker games. Then you're going to have dinner at 6.30 and I'll leave the schedule down below. I'll take a picture and upload it or maybe I'll type it out if I want to be fancy. So that way you guys can check it out and also make sure that you guys are clicking the links in the description if you want to get anything. I'll definitely leave all the gear that I use for my YouTube channel and any other products that I find are really helpful. That way you guys can check them out too. Next you're going to go to dinner at Stokely Hall. Stokely is also known as Fresh Food Company but we upper class and sometimes freshmen don't want to say the whole thing so we call it Stokely. Stokely is a dining hall and it's the newest one out of all the ones it is definitely the newest one and a lot of people enjoy Stokely but let me tell you I was not having it with the food the entire process at Ignite. If you can get used to it, then that's going to be a really good thing for you. But for me, it was absolutely awful. Some things that you might not know is when you're having this dining hall, because only around 200 kids are on campus, they don't offer it to full capacity. So you have very limited options. You're going to have maybe a salad bar, a cereal bar, and then you'll have your traditional lunch line. And that's really about it. Then you'll also have desserts too. I ate a lot of desserts. <laughs> and then you'll have, you know, your drinks, so lemonade, water, the sodas, that kind of thing. But really, other than that, you don't have much options. I kept trying the rice and chicken, and every time I couldn't take more than two bites because it was just not good. Once you're finished eating dinner, you're going to meet up with your whole team, and it's going to be a Rocky Top round trip at 8 p.m. So this is where they might show you around what's there to offer. They really don't do much because it is your first day and they're trying to get you warmed up to everything before they throw you into a full day. Then once you're done with that, you'll disembark to your dorm halls for the very first night ever. On to day two. Day two starts rather early at 7.30 a.m. with breakfast. Make sure you guys are going to be on time for breakfast because you really don't want to be late with your team member. You got to eat relatively fast because the lines do get long. So I'd suggest coming a little bit earlier than 7.30. That way you can get there before the rush of all the people. Then then you're going to have your early morning check-in at 8.15. That's when all the team groups will call out your name. You got to say here or whatever they tell you to say. We just said here and that's when they do attendance. So make sure that you're getting out of breakfast promptly and you meet up with your designated team leader. Finally, at 8.30 a.m. you will get to do some service. Now our team didn't get to do service that early because there was some transportation issues. We did not have the best transportation. Theoretically, you should go and be able to do any type of service. What they'll do is kind of based on where you're assigned. You don't really get to pick what kind of service you did, but for us, we made little blankets for the homeless, which I thought was pretty cool. And then we also made little dog rag toys out of old shirts. The next thing we did was write letters for all the kids in the Knox County school system that were underprivileged. Basically, for the rest of the day, you're going to be doing service, and then you'll have lunch at 12 30 until 1 30. You'll do some more service. We went to the Boys and Girls Club in Knoxville and we got to kind of interact with the kids and play some games with them which was super fun because you do either direct or indirect service. Indirect is where you don't get to see the people and you make things for them or you do something indirect and then direct is where you directly get to interact with people which is personally my favorite. Finally at around 5 o'clock you're going back to Stokely to have dinner and then you'll have your second team meeting at 6 30. They're gonna have a show about volunteers and what it means to be a volunteer so make sure you're paying attention during that because it is a more serious talk. It's either on day two or day three. They might switch it up this year and then you're gonna do some evening activities where they have games and other things you can do. Finally you're at day three which is another super packed day. It's also the longest day so get ready. Have some good amount of sleep. Breakfast is once again at 7 30 and you'll go through the leadership and you'll go talk but then after you're done with your service 
around 5 o'clock, you'll go back to Stokely, have your dinner, and afterwards, this is where things get kind of interesting. You'll have 6 to 8 o'clock free time where you can kind of go around and explore the campus, or if you're in a sorority, they have sorority recruitment. At 8 p.m., they have an ice cream social. I went to this ice cream social, but the lines were incredibly long. I believe that Brewster's ice cream was holding the whole thing, and man, it took absolutely forever to get the ice cream. I think I waited in line for about 30 to 45 minutes. The line was so long, and by the time I got up there, I was very nervous that they wouldn't have any ice cream. I'm pretty sure I got chocolate chip mint because they were out of pretty much everything else. So if you're going to go to the ice cream social, be prepared to wait in a long line or get there at around 7.30 so you don't have to battle the crowds. And at 10 o'clock, you're still not done because then you have to meet with your TLs, your team leaders. Then you share some things. And finally, around, I believe, 11 o'clock is when we got done. That's why they say it ends at 10, but it really doesn't. You get done at 11, and then you go back to your dorm, and you have other people walk with you, so you're never walking alone at night. You get some sleep, you crash in your dorm room for just a few hours, and you're back at it. Day four. Day four was probably the quickest day that goes by because you get a little bit more time because you know you're going to be up super late that night. They want to make sure you get a little extra sleep, so breakfast starts at 8 o'clock at Stokely. You have your team meeting at 9, and then it closes at 10, and you're finally dismissed at 10:45. Here is the final schedule. Day 4 is also when they'll hand your shirts out. I'll show you the back of our shirt now. Here is the back of the shirt. It's a very nice design, super lightweight, and it says Ignite up here. It's a classic gray shirt that, you know, signifying you made it through Ignite. And once everything is done, you kind of hang around, take pictures, have some chants, play some last minute games with friends. That wraps up the program. That also means it wraps up this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you have any questions whatsoever about Ignite Serves or anything about UT in general, make sure you give a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer that. Bye. It's kind of just random night. It's kind of just random night. It's kind of randomized. It's kind of randomized to, I don't, randomized. Wow, that took forever. It's kind of random not. Hmm, what is the building called? I have no idea. I can't remember what the building stands for. HSS. Haslam Science Center? No, it, that does not seem right, though. Anyways, you go to the student union. No, you don't. You don't go to the student union. Brain, where you at? Over. I just went straight to my dorm and cried because I miss my parents. Okay, well, I guess Ignite is four days. Whoops.